And no matter what hand someone's dealt in life, don't let anyone tell you, first of all, you can't play or something's impossible. I would say take possible out of impossible. Never shuffle a deck one in each hand. It makes the other players nervous. So Richard has had an inspirational life. And you know the story of Richard, right? Mm -hmm. And blind since age nine, although as he likes to put it, he says, I'm not blind, I just can't see. When I first started losing my sight, I was really mad. But the loss of vision turned out to be a blessing and one of my greatest assets. You know, if we defeat adversity with honor and integrity, we can turn adversity into an asset and that can lead to prosperity. Play the cards you're dealt. I think that's a very inspirational message to anybody. Now, when my vision started going south, I was blessed in two ways. One was with an enhanced sense of touch, and the other was the ability to see without sight. The more you do something, the better you can do it. Now, there's another expression I don't agree with. And that is practice makes perfect. Y'all heard that? Mm -hmm. Now, practice does not make perfect. You can practice something wrong, and when you're done, it's perfectly wrong. Perfect, <laughs> perfect practice makes perfect. There was a period of time when I practiced, and I'm serious, 10 to 20 hours a day, seven days a week, for 26 years straight. As we all know, this place is tough. Uh, kind of hearing stories of people who have had uh, setbacks in their life and then they accomplish terrific things, I think it's just a, a great kind of message. Do what you love, and, and if you're passionate about what you love, you don't have to work at it. So find out what you're passionate about and then let that, let that be your guide.